thank you very much for coming in and congratulations. Thank you. Um, Thanks for having me. I'm very interested because you can't live in Jamaica simply because <clears> you're <throat> a gay man. You live in America. Yeah. You live actually in the rather mild Middle West of Minnesota. Yeah. Um, and yet this is a very vivid, violent <laughs> Jamaican account. Yeah. How do you, I mean, how do you conjure this? It's not informed by living in America. Well, you know, well, firstly, and I apologize for my voice, I was celebrating way too much. I bet you were. <laughs> um, you know, I left Jamaica, I mean, primarily to find, for a job. Yeah. And, um, and also, as a writer, um, I, I wanted more, uh, more of a sort of a writing community, yeah. among other things. But the, the Jamaica that I'm talking about um, I was in, I did experience, um, the, the novel ends in 1991, and um, I grew up in the 70s, I certainly went through the 80s, and um, I also came from a family where my mother was a police, my mother was a cop, she was a detective, my father was a lawyer, um, so the, 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 um, the condition of the country, I couldn't escape from No, absolutely way. must have played an enormous part, yeah. I, but, but now you're out of it, is it the Jamaica of today? Will, will the reader be bound to think, goodness, what's happened to this country? And what's mm. happened to a country that prevents so great a writer from mm. living amongst its people? Um, I don't know, because I think the Jamaica today is radically different. And um, I think the way in which Jamaica may prevent a writer like me is, is more in terms of not offering opportunities. Um, but, but you wouldn't be allowed to live an openly gay existence in... Probably not. Um, well, definitely not. Certainly right? not, certainly not in, in, the, in how I define it here. Yeah. Um, and I think um, in Jamaica you, 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 you end up in a kind of serious code switching, I think. Um, that said, it's, 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 it's radically different. I, I think I'd be more worried, worried about writing such a politically outspoken novel. Mm. But you're going to be transformed now. You've sold the, sold the rights <laughs> for a film. Uh, you, you've got 50,000 from last night. It'll make a difference, won't it? Um, yeah, I think, um, especially for a novel that was so risky and a novel that was so... Um, yeah, not necessarily the most commercial um, type of story and not told in necessarily the most commercial way, that it would get certain people who may not have paid attention to it before to do well, so now. They are most certainly going to pay attention now. Marlon James, thank you very, very much for coming, especially after the night of celebration. <laughs> thank you for having me. So glad your voice held out.